Welcome to all our guests, graduating students, and proud family and friends to UCLan's first ever online launch of our annual degree shows. I'm Graham Baldwin, the Vice Chancellor for the University of Central Lancashire, and I'm delighted to introduce this event. Coronavirus has meant that for the last few months, we have worked very differently. We have adjusted remarkably well, and I'm very proud of the success of our students and staff across the piece. We are disappointed that we can't be together in person, but we have developed an exciting and innovative approach to celebrate the incredible work that our students have pro produced in the last year. For the first time, we invite you to visit our specially created portfolio website and immersive gallery to see a unique exhibition showcasing the work that our students have produced from art design, fashion and textiles, photography, architecture, animation and games design. You will also be able to connect with students directly who will all be online to connect and discuss their work. This innovative gallery experience has been designed by UCLan colleagues who have created an experience which rivals a physical exhibition in a spectacular way. Once inside the show, you will find that you can navigate your way through with the 360 degree technology providing a spacious and interactive environment. It is a truly immersive and exciting experience that will enable you to enjoy our students' outstanding work in a unique and different way. For our creative students, of course, this has been a strange and difficult few months. They've had to rethink their plans at very short notice and submit work as digital portfolios of scans, photographs and digital design, mostly without the phys final physical outcomes that students have planned for from their very first year. However, they have proved remarkably resilient and resourceful, producing work that demonstrates their significant creative talents. And textile students have also adapted their practice and utilised the materials and techniques that they have learnt throughout their degree to produce creative, striking and very innovative work. We have a long history of delivering degree level education in art and design. Our fashion design and graphic design courses were the first in their country to be validated as sandwich courses over 40 years ago. This year our fashion design course was ranked among the top 100 fashion schools in the world at number 80. And fashion and textile courses at UCLan were eighth in the Guardian Good University Guide. Every year we also choose to celebrate our best graduates with our degree shows in conjunction with Creative Lancashire. Course teams nominate a student from their final cohort who has impressed them with their hard work, dedication, personal qualities and development as well as the quality of their work and you can see examples of the work from all of our nominated students in the award winners gallery. At this point I would like to once again pay tribute to the fantastic staff within the Faculty of Cultural and Creative Industries for all their hard work in enabling our students to succeed and to reach their potential. And judging from the work that I've already seen this year, you are doing a brilliant job. So very well done and thank you. I'd also like to say a big thank you to Creative Lancashire for their ongoing and significant support with these awards. Now the judges have chosen eight overall winners this year. And although only eight students can win one of today's awards, my message to all those nominated is that whatever the final decision of the judges, you should all be immensely proud of being nominated for your achievements. Well done. You have already demonstrated the skills, the drive and the motivation to succeed. And in the years to come, I'm sure your creative talent will shine through just as it has done for so many of our graduates from the creative disciplines who have studied here over the years. These awards are now in their ninth year and I'm delighted that so many of our previous awards winners are now playing key roles in furthering the success story of the UK's creative industries. And what a success story it is growing at almost twice the rate of the wider economy, the UK creative industries generate more than £100 billion a year to our economy. So it's great news to see our creative industries well and truly thriving, and here at the University of Central Lancashire, we are determined to ensure its continued growth and success. And I'm sure from what you see tonight, 
you'll realise it's in good hands. Have a great time and thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Sam and I'm a 2020 graduate from the Music Theatre course here at UCLan. And this song is called 73 and it's from an upcoming project, me and another student that I'm currently writing. Hope you enjoy it. Checking on our phone, so much has happened But I'll never forget all the times we got drunk 3am conversations about falling in love Cause we'll be alright Cause we've got time right on our side And just like in the movies Time stands still when you just close your eyes Welcome to our annual UCLan Degree Shows Awards Ceremony. We're here to celebrate the success of our incredibly talented and creative students. The awards this year are being broadcast into your homes as we join events across the world in going online. It's my great pleasure to host the 2020 Degree Shows Awards. The creativity, hard work and determination of our students never fails to impress me. Throughout the academic year, many go up for external awards, and our winners this year include Jamie Walsh, who won a Royal Television Society Northwest Award for Tia, a stunning short animation film depicting the friendship that develops between a teenage boy and a stray cat. Seven students from our graphic design and advertising courses also won gold, silver and bronze at the annual National Creative Conscience Awards, which celebrate projects that aim to improve local communities and inspire and help change people's lives through the art of design. 
These successes included graphic design student Dom Parsons, who won gold for a typeface he created for the Grenfell Tower campaigners and community. In addition, Chelsea Barker, a final year fashion design student, has won a design brief competition for TikTok. Chelsea will now go to London to participate in a five day residency where she'll be mentored by some of today's leading designers and will produce four garments of her winning design. Following the award ceremony, you're invited to visit the Degree Shows portfolio website and immersive gallery. And I can promise you there are some real highlights to look out for in this year's show. Sustainability, circular production and environmental concerns have been an ever-present movement on the UCLan fashion design course for some years now. And this year, many students have shown their ingenuity and resourcefulness when creating their collections. Among them has been Fatima Abdullah, who created highly desirable updated garments from cast-offs such as second-hand and charity shop leather coats and jackets, and has succeeded in turning them into laser-cut works of art. Chloe Slater, whose menswear collection repurposes discarded festival tents and surplus military tents to create directional, active sports-inspired menswear. And also Lydia Ball, who utilised gifted, found and sourced outwear items to repurpose into contemporary women's wear pieces. Textile student Jess Kirkpatrick shows the power of a surface pattern design, which not only looks visually striking, but can also contain a moral message on the plight of endangered species. I think you would agree that this resource for all fashion design and textile students will be keen to share and develop more once they graduate and take up their chosen careers. It's also important to highlight some of the outstanding live projects our students have been involved with in the past year. One such project has included some of our final year BSc Architectural Technology students working on a collaborative live project looking at ideas for an end-of-life care facility for residents at St Catherine's Hospice. Working with students from the MSc in Conservation and Adaptation, architectural technology alumni and local architects Cassidy and Ashton, the students looked at such issues as the importance of views of nature and sky for residents, the use of natural materials, and the advantages of off-site fabrication to limit noise and disruption during construction. The students also develop materials and tools to use by working directly with the staff, patients and families, actively supporting them to contribute to the design process. I encourage you to join us after the awards, connect with our students and discuss their work. You will find a link to our Degree Shows homepage in the description below. I have great pleasure in inviting our next guest to speak with you. Each year, we are very fortunate to receive support from Creative Lancashire for the awards. Our relationship continues to grow and to show our appreciation, can I please welcome Jenny Rutter, Chair of Creative Lancashire, to say a few words. Hello, everybody. My name's Jenny Rutter. I'm Deputy Director of Super Slow Way, an arts programme in East Lancashire. I'm a board member of the new Lancashire 2025 bid to become City of Culture in 2025, and I've recently become the new chair of Creative Lancashire. Creative Lancashire has been supporting the development and growth of the creative sector in Lancashire for 15 years now. And in that time, we've seen some really fabulous companies and creative practitioners grow out of the talent pool nurtured here at UCLAN. It's been a joy to visit the degree shows year on year and marvel at the breadth of creativity, innovation and exciting new ideas on show. There's so much talent, dedication and hard work bubbling away here amongst both the students and, of course, the wonderful staff that support and inspire them. Every year, the Creative Lancashire Board and invited guests from the sector participate in the judging of the degree show awards. Every year, we also award a special prize, the Creative Lancashire Award for Enterprise. To a student from amongst all the creative courses that has demonstrated in their final work a particular industry readiness or an understanding of how their work and practice can fit into the real world. And it's always a really hard decision to make. But this year has been particularly hard because I don't need to tell you, but this year is special. 
it's very different. This year's graduates have had to emerge from their studies into a new world, a scary, worrying world, one where it is not yet clear where the jobs will be or how we will be able to present our creative wares safely. A world where our whole sector, along with many others, is facing an unprecedented crisis. This group of graduates have had to complete their courses in really difficult circumstances, at home in their rooms, remotely and without the camaraderie of their classmates. They've had to give up the final big show-off rite of passage moment that they've been working towards for three years and adapt to delivering a degree show online all whilst worrying about their families, what their future holds for them, and what their next steps will be. But not only have they survived it, not only have they got through it, they've created the most extraordinary work. And if I'm honest, I'm not really surprised at that. This sector is characterised by its resilience and an ability to flex and adapt to new circumstances. What I've witnessed and learned throughout my time working with the creative sector in Lancashire is that there is no group of people who are better prepared to use their skills and talents to respond to a crisis and come out stronger on the other side. These graduates are the people who will create a new future for everyone, one filled with all of the things that quite often we take for granted, but that have given us a little comfort throughout the lockdown. The box set binges, the stories, the books, the articles, our comfortable homes with our gadgets and appliances, the music and the digital discos, the games on our tablets, the virtual spaces that helped us quiz with our families or exercise with friends, the rainbow jewellery that we bought to support the NHS, the cosy clothes that we've retreated into, the face masks and the PPE making people safe, the craft kits that kept our kids busy on the rainy days and the art club run by a Turner Prize winning artist that we joined en masse. To put it simply, creative people make the things that make our lives better. I'm very proud that we grow so many of them here in Lancashire and at UCLAN. So a huge congratulations to the whole graduating class of 2020. Now's your time to go out and make things better. Thank you so much, Jenny. Jenny will be returning later to present the Creative Lancashire Award for Enterprise. So on to the awards. There are eight awards open to students including architecture, two design categories, fashion and textiles, fine art and photography, games design and animation, foundation entry, and the Creative Lancashire Award for Enterprise. Each winner will receive an award plaque in the post confirming your achievement. Throughout the presentation of awards, I encourage you to join the celebration in the live chat, which we'll, you'll see next to the video. The first category in this year's awards is architecture. The nominees for this award are Nellie Jenkinson and Joe Voyevoda. The winner of this award was nominated by their peers for their part in a group-based project. The collaborative piece looked at ideas for an end-of-life care facility for residents at St Catherine's Hospice. They worked with their client using the idea of building layers and simple wooden toys to help them understand and get involved in the development process. The winner is... Nelly Jenkinson. Congratulations, Nelly. Next up are the Design Awards. This year we have two categories, Graphic Communication and 3D. The nominees for these awards are Ran Duan, Emily Kelly, Brandon Kinder and Ellie Spickett. First up is the Design Award for Graphic Communication. 
the winner of this award worked to bring Plough Inn's gin distillery back to life, keeping their vast heritage at the heart of the brand. The project also celebrates the gin craze that William of Orange brought to England. Our winner is noted as having been a consistently excellent student throughout their time in the studio and out on placement. The winner is... Ellie Spickett. Congratulations to Ellie. Next, we moved to the Design Award for 3D. The winner of this award developed a helmet which aims to incorporate the needs of individuals with sight, hearing and mental health impairments, enabling them to participate in snow sports through virtual reality. Their work has provided a new and exhilarating experience for those who thought it would not be possible to take part in snow sports. The winner is... Brandon Kinder. Congratulations, Brandon. Next up is the award for fashion and textiles. The nominees for this award are Jessica Kirkpatrick, Tui Ndoro and Chloe Slater. The winner of this award has demonstrated a strong connection to their heritage, exploring what it means to be from a Zimbabwean home and living on a British land the importance of keeping culture alive and celebrating identity in its fullness. Our winner is described as a talented stylist and their project challenges the difficulties of self-isolation and loving yourself for who you are. The winner is... Tui Ndoro. Huge congratulations to Tui. Our fifth category is Fine Art and Photography. The nominees for this award are Nathan Johnson and Ricky Kirby. The winner of this award has shown outstanding commitment to their project work and degree, demonstrating a complex awareness to visual culture and social histories. Their photograph is a powerful tool that evokes memory, knowledge, and allows for the discussion of opinion. Their final, The Gay Times, offers a comedic insight into an intensely political situation, which provides the viewer the opportunity to question their own relationship with the representation of sexuality throughout history. You may find the text on their piece difficult to read when it's shown in a moment, I encourage you to read it in our winner's online portfolio after the awards. The winner is Nathan Johnson. Congratulations, Nathan. 
Games Design and Animation is our next award. The nominees for this award are Michael Dolan and Lucas Kick. The winner of this award has attained an industry standard quality in creating atmospheric and immersive game environments. His natural ability to understand developing technologies and atmospheric lighting and integrate these into his work shows incredible promise and skill. Not only is he continually developing his own techniques, but he is also consistently generous in sharing his knowledge with his classmates and with them has successfully worked on several local, national and international Game Jam events during the academic year. The winner is... Lucas Kick. Congratulations, Lucas. We're now nearing the end with our Foundation Entry Award. Just one more to go after this. At UCLAN, we offer a variety of Foundation degree courses in a range of creative subjects. The nominees for this award are Andrea Banks, Sean Godbert, Mariash Cucci, and Mark Pontanaras. The winner of this award has been an outstanding student and has taken on all projects this year with quiet enthusiasm, producing a wide range of work which is ambitious and has depth. They have faced challenges at times. However, in this case, our winner took the challenge of lockdown and created a digital diary that recorded their thoughts and moods. Lockdown Diary is an assemblage of found objects drawings, paintings, things sewn, things made. Each part refers to a different thought, observation or feeling experienced during this time. The winner is... Andrea Banks. Congratulations to Andrea. Our final award is the Creative Lancashire Award for Enterprise. All our nominated students are put forward for the Creative Lancashire Award. To be chosen as the winner, a student must demonstrate an understanding of industry, producing work that we believe would be successful in a real world context. It's my pleasure to welcome back Jenny Rutter, Chair of Creative Lancashire, to present this award. Thank you for inviting me to present this award. The winner of this award has shown perseverance and growth over the last three years. Their final collection is a testament to their hard work and determination to, to succeed in a competitive environment. Their drawing ability is second to none and they have created a cohesive and commercial portfolio ready for industry. Their work focuses on endangered species and the habitats that they live in. They wanted to create designs that capture people's attention and help to start conversations, educating people on species they may never have heard of before. Their final collection is not only beautiful, but informs us about the plight of the world's endangered species. The winner of the Creative Lancashire Award for Enterprise is Jessica Kirkpatrick. Huge congratulations to Jessica. 
So that brings us to the end of the Degree Shows Awards 2020. Congratulations to all our nominees and to our winners. No one could have predicted at the start of this year we'd be hosting our Degree Show Awards online because of a worldwide pandemic. It's been a phenomenal effort by all involved to get to this point. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone, staff and students, in making this possible. And very many thanks too to all of you for joining us today. You're now invited to visit our online gallery to view final year work and connect with and even speak to our talented students. You'll find a link to our Degree Shows homepage in the video description below. Enjoy the show. We're incredibly proud of it. Thank you.